A brutal stabbing on a packed commuter train. Two people killed, another slashed in the neck, but survived. This happened uh, 2017, Portland, Oregon. Jeremy Christian was allegedly shouting racist slurs at two women, one of them wearing a hijab. That's when bystanders step in, and you see this confrontation here on cell phone video right before Christian pulled a knife and started stabbing people. But he claims he did it in self-defense. Cops caught him a few minutes later. He's sitting in the back of the patrol car in a spit mask. Here's what he had to say then. Well, right before that video was played for the jury, he turned to someone in the gallery and said, you don't want to miss this stuff. Good stuff. That's according to our affiliate reporter. Unbelievable stuff. Let's bring in Bob Bianchi. He's the host of Long Crime uh, Network, former prosecutor, criminal defense attorney. How damaging is all this? How can they, I mean, what defense can you put up after all that? Mike, when I ran the homicide squad, I would give this to the most junior homicide prosecutor. It is like a hot knife through butter. It is such an easy case to prove. It can't be lost. Not only do you have the guy doing a horrific thing, it's caught on video, but he's bragging about it, not only in the police car, not only saying he hopes that they die, which proves purposeful and intentional conduct, but in the courtroom, he's basically turning to the gallery and saying, hey, you got to watch this. If I were the prosecutor and I found that out or saw it or observed it, I'd be going to the judge saying, Your Honor, I want to introduce what he did in the gallery in this courtroom to the jury so they could see he has absolutely no remorse. Got it. So that could haunt him right now. Uh, let's show everybody the video. It, it's disturbing when you know what happened. Uh, we're not going to show the stabbing, but what leads up to it. Because uh, this video here, his defense is, it's self-defense. Look at him. Oh, they're ganging up on him. Bob, is that what they're trying to say? <laughs> Well, listen, the lawyers are trying to do the best job possible. My suspicion is, if anything, I would have been pursuing as a defense lawyer an insanity defense. And I, mm. I mean that seriously based on the rants that he was doing. But obviously, they must have had him psychiatrically evaluated and found out that they couldn't meet that very difficult burden. So this is all they've got left. It's self-defense. But it will fail because when you're using lethal force pretty much in any state, you have to be confronted with legal lethal force. You just can't kill somebody, even if they put their hands on you, which did not happen here, and may I add, Mike, he was the initial aggressor verbally and physically, and that is not a defense, self-defense in this case. Yeah, l let's listen here, Bob. This is the gentleman who you see throw Christian down. He's got glasses on and a T-shirt, was gravely injured but survived. Here's his part of his testimony. I know what it looks like before somebody hurts somebody else. Pushed him again. And, uh, Closer, hopefully, towards the door. How did he respond? Well, you responded by stabbing me in the throat. I'm going to die. That's what you thought? Absolutely. I didn't save him. I really wanted to. I could. I just wasn't strong enough. Again, he survived two others uh, killed. It's just chilling to watch and, and hear about. And it just seems to get worse, Bob. Yeah, you know, and, and you can just listen to the audio. If you listen to the whole audio of the people that are trying to stop uh, the defendant's aggressive actions towards these two females, and, uh, and then he pulls that knife out and starts stabbing them, screaming chaos. Crazy, Mike. Yeah. Bob, thanks so much. We'll keep following this case. And thank you for watching True Crime Live. I'm Mike.